Hello, this is Professor Keener with some suggestions for writing about poetry. The two traditional ways for writing about poetry are an explication and an analysis. An explication is a line-by-line -line interpretation of a poem. An analysis also interprets a poem, but rather than proceed through the poem line-by-line, -line, an analysis focuses on the most important aspects of the poem. An explication often works best on short poems, let's say 14 lines or less, whereas an analysis is effective with longer poems. Another may, way you may want to write your poetry paper is to connect your personal experience to the poem. This is effective if you find a poem that speaks to you, that represents some aspect of your life or mirrors your feelings. You might also consider writing about various interpretations of a poem, especially if you think the poem can be legitimately read in more than one way. Whichever approach to writing you choose, it's often best to begin your paper with a statement of the poem's theme. For instance, Notice a sample explication in our textbook about Yeats' poem, Balloon of the Mind, on page 509. Example, Yeats's Balloon of the Mind is about writing poetry, specifically about the difficulty of getting one's floating thoughts down in lines on the page. This sentence clearly, accurately, and specifically identifies the theme of the poem. After this, the writer can explain how the various elements in the poem contribute to or develop this theme. You should also include the title of the poem and the author early in the paper or in the opening sentence, as this writer did. Remember that poetry is about language and uses language in special ways, such as rhythm, rhyme, arrangement of words, lines. So your writing should focus on how the poem uses language, as well as what the poem means. Remember that every poem is unique and may use language in a particular way. So in your paper, focus on the important ways that language is used in the poem you're writing about, whether that be the choice of words, the tone, repetition, rhythm, rhyme, arrangement of lines or stanzas, whatever is most compelling about the poem. As you write, keep the focus of your sentences on how language is used in the poem. To do this, begin sentences by calling attention to the poetic devices or to how the poem is written. Example, the first line a short, stern, heavily stressed command to the speaker's hands perhaps implies, by its severity or impatient tone, that these hands will be disobedient or inept or careless if not watched closely. The poor, bumbling body so often fails to achieve the goals of the mind. Notice how the sentence calls attention to the way the first line in the poem is written. It stresses in tone, after which the writer suggests why the poem may be written that way thereby linking how the poem is written to its meaning or theme. Here's another example. Example. The bluntness of the command in the first line is emphasized by the fact that all the subsequent lines have more syllables. As you write, look at the beginning of your sentences and ask if most of your sentences begin by focusing on a poetic device. Also remember, the meaning in poems is usually implied rather than directly stated, Appropriate verbs to use might include the following. Suggest, imply, hint, seem, appear, indicate. The point of writing about a poem is not to simply point out the poetic devices, though, but to explain how these create meaning in the poem, how they contribute to the theme. For instance, in this example, furthermore, the first line is a grammatically complete sentence, whereas the thought of line two spills over into the next lines, implying the difficulty of fitting ideas into confining spaces, that is, of getting one's thoughts into order, especially into a coherent poem. Notice the writer explains why the lines run over in the poem and how this adds to the theme. To repeat, the writer first points out how the poem is written and then explains why it's written that way. As you write about the poem, help the reader of your paper recall which parts of the poem you're writing about such as the opening line or the second stanza. Also, quote from the poem so readers can see the words or phrases or poetic devices you're writing about. For example, lines two and three amplify the metaphor already stated in the title. The product of the mind is an airy but unwieldy bloom. And they also contain a second command, bring. Be sure that when you quote, quotes are smoothly and logically integrated into your own sentences. A strategy you could use is to include words or lines from the poem in parentheses as you comment on these in the main part of the sentence. Example, in comparison with the abrupt first line of the poem, 
lines two and three themselves seem almost swollen, bellying and dragging, an effect aided by using adjacent unstressed syllables, quote, of thee, quote, bellies and, quote, in thee, and by using I rhyme, quote, mind, and quote, wind, rather than an exact rhyme. This helps remind readers of the poem and supports the analysis. Some final tips when writing about poetry. Refer to the voice in the poem as a speaker, not the author. Write in present tense, and feel free to jump right in and start analyzing the poem from the opening sentence of your essay. Here's an example from our textbook. Robert Frost, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, can be read as a poem about a man who pauses to observe the beauty of nature. And it can be read as a poem about a man with a death wish, a man who seems to long to give himself up completely to nature and thus escape his responsibilities as a citizen. Notice how this sentence does all the things we've discussed. It names the author and title of the poem, states the theme, is written in present tense, and immediately begins with an analysis of the poem. Finally, finally, include a copy of your poem at the beginning of your paper. This way, readers can read the poem right before reading your paper. Remember that as in any essay, your paper is controlled by your thesis and your purpose for writing. What you say, the content, and how you express yourself, your style, are crucial to good writing. And you will need textual evidence as well as your own explanations to help readers understand your interpretation of the poem. Good luck and have fun writing your poetry paper.